Hey guys, it's Parker here, back with Valhalla Part 17. Joe is thinking a lot about Kira Mickey, but I want to propose this to prevent her from getting too distracted. Have a very nice day. You've been talking a lot with that Alma girl. Jealous? So let's shop for that, um, Kira Mickey poster. Here it is. Alright, let's go to work. Thursday, December 29th. Good evening. Hey. Okay, so we got almost everything, but we're still missing a couple of things for Saturday. And so, I designate you, Gillian Applegate, as official guy who goes to buy the rest of the stuff. Applegate? I have no idea who that is. Why me? I could send Jill, but I wouldn't dare send a lady by herself. And I could go with her, but I believe the bar should have at least two people in the vicinity at all times. You're not gonna say anything, Joe? If it means not being a delivery girl, I'm happy to fake helplessness. Help! <sighs> Fine, give me that list. I'll be back sometime. Something tells me you're planning something, boss. What gives you that impression? Call it a gut feeling. Did you know Gil has a crush? He what? A client of his, a girl that owns a bazaar. She's been coming on to him for ages and he's only just started opening up. But he's taking steps backwards and I'm not gonna let him. He's opening up for fuck's sake. And so the urns will take him to the bazaar, I take it. That's right. Huh. Alright then, to the office I go. As for me. Gonna pick some music. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Get off with a crush, huh? This place, great. Oh, if it isn't? Hey, Jill. Sorry, but is there anywhere I can hide? There's an unpleasant guy on my trail. Ah, oh, stock woman incoming. The door's open. Go ahead, the door's still up. Thanks. Hello there! Oh, hi there! The other one! That's the bathroom! Wait, what's the dog doing in the bathroom? Now, where did she- Oh, the hellhole. Perfect. Hey kid, out the usual. Right. Huh, he remember me after two weeks. Mr. Donovan's usual drink, huh? Here. This seems right. The paper's been a mess lately. You think when all that's happening, they stay and do more reports. But they're all asking for a vacation, it's kind of afford to be understaffed. So I have to come up with some sort of reward for whoever produces the most reports. I see no difference in my feed though. Mr. Donovan, I don't mean to sound rude, but... You do know the infamy of the augmented eye with the general public, right? A shitty place that will over centralize anything and report useless things. Of course I know. Then why not try to rectify that image? To put it simply, I'm being clutched by the balls in the non-pleasant way. So I bought the corp, and company have an eye on every publication they haven't bought yet. The report on them once and they'll find something to find you with. Twice, and you'll find your resources severely cut. Anything beyond that, and the best case scenario is that they'll buy the damn operation to keep it quiet. I knew there are more newsworthy things than whatever it is the lackeys picked out that week, but if I overstep, my ass is on the line. Huh. Glad to see this hellhole is still one piece. The BTC has been going ape shit closing bars lately. Oh, yeah, that. Yesterday, they closed one that served as a key part of a drug trafficking ring. And last week, the coast three small bars that served as the League of Chicken restaurants. Huh. Not to mention, there are like a hundred people with BTC, BTC certificates but never use them. Instead, they keep those credentials around to stop police from raiding their homes or warehouses. I don't know about you, but it's obvious to me that some restructuring will begin at the BTC after this whole thing. Man, shit ran deeper than I thought. And no news outlet talks about that. Alright kid, let's try a moon blast now. Come again? Hey, if I don't have to break the routine from time to time. 
A moon boss? That's a new one for him. Here. Now, let's see what the ruckus is about. Um, so... What brought you here? Alright, didn't you see a lemon coming in here? Blue hair, big tits. She's the one for the encore concert coming up. Not really. Did she jump to the roof then? Why were you looking for her? Did she want an interview? Not really, just hitting on her. Hey, I said hitting on her, not hitting her. Stop glaring. Why though? Are you that bored? Don't you have like a family or something? Have you seen that girl? Hot as tits. Oh, so hot ass and tits. I'm suffering the weirdest kind of being hard as fucking curious as shit right now. I want to know just how detailed those King Class CH1A models are, personally. And so he followed her. I've yet to meet a woman that can't resist the charms of Donovan D. Dawson. You're in front of one, and I'm guessing you have quite the selective memory. Like I said, don't you have a family or something? A wife, but that woman cheats on me as much as I cheat on her. In fact, I'm pretty convinced she gets up on the thought of me cheating on her. So that limb isn't here, huh? I'll have to find a busty enough replacement and I'll explode. Hey, after you're done glaring, please send me a power driver. Right. Let's just give him a power driver. Literally. Here. Alright. Well, seeing as she's not here, I have no reason to say. Maybe I'll find someone that looks a bit like her. The guy left! Oh, alright. Thanks for sheltering me, Donna. Hope your sister likes the video. No, thank you! Since you had a hearty talk. Your boss? Your boss is such a fun person. Your sister is a fan of mine, so I recorded a small video for her took a couple of photos. How nice of you. It's nothing really, and she did hide me, so it's the least I could do. But, well, we're here already. Mind giving me something sweet? Sure. Miss Idol wants something sweet. Here. Thanks. So, do you know why Donovan was following you? I don't, but I wasn't in the mood to deal with him. His questions were a bit over the line last time, too. Not the worst I dealt with, but I just didn't want to humor him. I see. Seems like he was just trying to come on to you. You don't say. Well, not like he'd have a chance anyways. I'm not into older guys that I'm already committed to a relationship. Figure, wait, you are? It's not common knowledge and the ones that hear it try to dismiss it as rumors, but... I've been in a relationship with my producer for a while now. Really? We were both single and that kind of stuff is bound to happen when you spend so much time together. But I'll start when he read an entry of any of my blog about wanting to experience love and the like. He offered to help with that after he read it and I thought, sure, why not? I already knew him well enough, it wouldn't hurt to try. How nice. He's a stick in the mud where plenty is too, but he's a sweetheart otherwise. I see. You know, I met two fans of yours lately. Really? Most of them seem so excited when they were talking about you. It was amazing. Hehehe. <laughs> I don't like the term fan too much. It strikes me as a bit pretentious in my opinion. I have many fans, just as it's so well. I like many people like my music better. Fan evokes an uglier and more pretentious image for me. Do you like what I do, Joe? Do you like my music? To be honest, I haven't had much exposure to your work, but... The few things I've heard are really good. And, not gonna lie, having talked to you, I feel like I would support you even if I didn't like it. So nice to hear. Hey, it's so familiar, but do you have anything like tea? Let me see. Something tea-like, if I remember correctly. Something bitter, but girly is fine too. Here. Perfect! Hey, you're a King Class CH1A, right? That I am. May I ask something about your model? Sure. Are there any differences between you and a DFC 72? Hmm. We both serve the same purpose, but DFC 72s have the part on their heads, which makes them more versatile. 
My line lacks that or the resilience of the D201Ds, but we're a tad more polished elsewhere. More specifically, our voice emulators are more advanced and our movements are smoother. I traded all for functionality and power for appearance, you could say. Ah, I see. Hey Jill, will you go to my next concert? I heard every ticket was sold out, never mind how expensive they are. So I guess that's a no, sorry. Now you will! Here! Eh eh? It, is, is this? It's a ticket for my encore concert! Sorry it's not a better seat, but I only get so many free tickets. No, no, I mean, this is amazing! I don't know if I can accept it though. You will. Even has the backstage pass so we can talk afterward and you tell me how it was. Why well, give it to me? I don't know, I like you. You're attentive and hear me out. That behavior should be reordered more. Well, thanks. God, it feels so weird to get a gift. And from a celebrity, no less. Don't think too much about it, you deserve it. Although I guess I can understand how you feel about receiving gifts. I usually get quite a few from fans, but it always feels so weird. I, I don't like feeling as though I got something for free. Luckily, I've thought of a way of not feeling so bad about it. How? Just give it my all on stage. They gave those skits to me after watching me perform. It's only natural for me to do my best and give it my all as a way to repay them. I should, uh, give it my all mixing drinks then? Of course. I, I see. Well, I gotta go, but let's have a sparkle star first. Alright. A sparkle star for Miss Idol. Here. Sparkling! Well, it's always a pleasure, Joe. Please come again. Will do. Oh, the handsome bartender. Nice to see you. Oh, um, uh. Boss, Gil's back. I'll take my break. Alright. Note to sell, buy oil for that door. Alright then. Gil, you're in my spot, please. Oh, sorry. Also, you're cleaning one of boss's chicken buckets. Did boss ask you to do that? If I told you she did, would you believe me? Without a dog. Let's go with that then. Right. Greetings. Ah, Sola, what can I get you? I'll go with a Bleeding Jane today. A Bleeding Jane for Sola. Here you go. Thank you. What brought you here today? Waiting for stay? I came by myself, actually. I was in the area and stopped to say hi. Oh. It's very interesting though. When I first saw you, I thought you'd ever come here again. Well, this place is comfortable, I must admit. So quiet and secluded. It's also clean, really clean. Gil is the one you can own that too. The guy takes pride in how clean he keeps things around here. If you ever need clean stuff, he's a nice pig. Really? <laughs> he's a bit out of it today though. I see. Hey Jill, have you heard of the new gold rush in the city? Gold rush? Everyone is paying small fortunes to get their hands on pieces of white knight suits. I think I heard or read something about that, but I'm having doubts, so probably not. In any case, how is it a gold rush? Well, the tech behind the suits is always safely guarded, but after the events at the bank... Sorry. After the events at the bank, the suits are remotely shut down, breaking many of them in the process. Many units dropped their armor right there and fled when the lynchings went on. Any white knight still stuck in their suit had to take the armor off manually to run away. It all happened in the middle of the lynchings, so they'd be sitting ducks if they didn't. Some weren't that lucky, they got beaten up while they weren't able to move. So, between the suits becoming glorified paperweights and many white knights going on a run, there ended up being a lot of junk lying around. 
but the whole scientific community is rejoicing. They're on a race to reverse engineer the suits and take as much technology as possible from them. And of course, even single pieces of armor fetch a high price these days. Could anyone see any profit from that research to justify those expenses? This new tech, a whole new field ripe with patents just open for many, so I'd say yes. Huh. I mean, the BTC is literally a conglomerate built upon patents and trademarks, I can see how. There is one weird case though. Hmm? There's this guy named Jack. He's the captain of a very unique Blitzkrieg corpse unit. Unique? The guy had a really small unit, five people including himself. The aesthetics of his unit's armor was heavily monitored to the point that they looked like a squad of henshin heroes. Hen what? Ahem, they look really gaudy. But it turned out that the guy actually broke through the software and disabled the remote switch. He has one of the few, if not the only, sits on armor with the OS intact. To say they're among the most wanted people would be an understatement. You know a lot about this. It's interesting, the amount of things you hear when dealing with junk people of all kinds in the same place. It also helps to put on the front that makes people lower their guard. That should sound familiar to you. True. Wait. Here's a freebie, a fun fact. The failed state was originally going to evolve the armor blowing up and leaving no traces. But regulations and laws didn't allow that kind of technology near civilians. I guess even Zaibatsu Corp has its limits, huh? People love to demonize Zaibatsu Corp because, let's face it, they're far from innocent. But they're not evil overlords, they're just greedy. They're just a big corporation. They just so happen to have control over what tantamounts to a city-state, but corporations will naturally resort to draconian methods. I've heard horror stories from people outside the city about trying to use product placement. If you so much as hold a bottle the wrong way or get in the way of a logo, you'll be in for lots of trouble. Now let's not start with theme parks or the like. Those are dystopias of their own. Then again, most of the demonization is due to Quincy being such a carl. He has no power anyways. He's just the front that whatever council behind Saibots the corpse chose. He makes a fool of himself and the attention is taken away from whatever it is that Saibots the corpse is actually doing. Yeah. So what you're saying is that Glitch City is actually a huge theme park? I've called the White Knights glorified mall security in the past, so yeah. Huh. No, seriously, hen what? Ahem. Can, can I get a Brantini here, please? Uh, sure, sure. Now let's give her a Brantini. Here. Thanks. So I take it you're in a good mood today? Does it show? A bit. Yeah, well, I managed to have a couple of tickets for the Kiramiki Encore concert. Nice. Oh right, as it turns out, she was just here. Again? Ahem, <laughs> sorry. Again? Can't believe I just missed her. I was surprised too. I was more surprised she remembered my name though. And like last time, she was quite the graceful client. Man, so those rumors about her being really nice in person were actually true? Amazing. I know, she even got me a ticket for the concert. She what? I had to twist some Mars to get tickets for the encore concert, and not only did she get them free, the idol herself gave them to you? Do you have any idea how jealous I am right now? It'll be interesting. You're gonna enjoy the hell out of it, trust me. This will be my first live concert of her, but I've seen every other concert of hers on video. They all have such a magical aura to them. Everyone says they have to be seen to be believed. Really like her music, huh? It makes me happy, what can I say? I love listening to it and I'm feeling down. Hell, it even helped me when I was worried sick about staying at the bank. It made me forget all my worries, even if for a while. Huh, I see. Say, Jill, you wanna come to the concert with us? Us? I invited Say because I managed to get two tickets. You wanna come with us both? I'd love to. I didn't want to go by myself, but... Are you okay with that? I don't want to be a burden. Of course, the more the merrier. Do you really believe me saying she was just here that easily? You're not the kind to lie about stuff like that, so sure. Thanks, I guess. 
That said, can you go through the console so easily? What about security and the like? My dad always has the unit keeping an eye on me from a distance. And you'd be surprised how easily I could disguise myself with just a different hair doll and a cap. I see. I wonder if I could get in the disabled lane with Say and her wounds. Although she'd probably nag me about how she doesn't need it and we shouldn't abuse that. Heh. Hey, can you give me a Casa drink? Sure. Sell so wants something classic now. Here. Thank you. Do you have many servants around the house though? I do, but they've been with us for so long they're pretty much family. My dad has always said that if you earn someone's trust, they'll be free to work for you, and everyone wins. We even had a young gardener that left to study engineering, and as she came back, he still comes by every week and attend the class. Man, yeah, that sounds nice. Let me know if you're ever in need of a job. I might find you something. Thanks for the offer. Wait. Hmm? I just realized something's off with the whole tech gold rush story. What would it be? Wouldn't all that tech be patented anyways? I got trying to crack it in the first place, but... That'd be true if the tech was patented in the first place. It isn't. Saibatsu have been so paranoid about making the white knights untouchable that they never patented at anything. A patent... Patent, patent, I don't know, would be in a database that someone could hack and retrieve valuable info for them. Not to mention they've been using tech for other companies without any authorization. And no patent registry in their right mind would approve of that global shutdown signal. Let alone how it immobilized everyone still inside one of those suits. So the ones that are upholding the law, there's so many suits that are all by all means illegal? The irony runs deep, wouldn't you say? Why do it though? When you have so much money, you start thinking you can steer around with the rules. All that power makes you think you're above every law there is. And the city is what happens when those with money start making the rules. I'm curious though, have you ever covered up any fuck ups by using money? I think we all done things we're not proud of at some point in our lives. Well, Jill, I gotta go. Always a pleasure. Please come again. Oh, Alma. No, hello. You're pretty insistent on that one, aren't you? It's basic courtesy, something I will fight to uphold. First the greeting stop, the saying please and thanks stops, and before you know it, boom, total anarchy. You're exaggerating. I'm not. In fact, I'll go through that door again and I expect you to probably greet me this time. Fine. Hello, Jill. Once upon a midnight jury, while I powdered, weak and wary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore. While I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping. As of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. This some visitor I murdered, tapping at my chamber door, only this and nothing more. You overdid it. You totally overdid it. Close the bartender, I did not. So, you like poetry? I had a pace. Can I get you something? Let's start with a big cobalt velvet. Sure. A big cobalt velvet for Alma. Here. Thanks. Oh yeah, there's something I've been wondering about for a while. Hmm? Does the name Shadow Master 69's Chronicles ring any bells? <laughs> Wow, you went pale. No, no, the name doesn't ring any bells. May 22nd. Today my daily car readings told me that I made great change thanks to an old man. My biology teacher told me I had been picked for an interesting contest of my latest essay. I just knew a scientific theory on the idea of ours was as revolutionary as I thought. Soon, I'll bring the world into the occult science singularity. Later entries don't seem to have gone that well though. Mentions of being laughed at, being lectured on why the essay was wrong. Chill? I made sure to delete that blog! No evidence should be left! I can, th I can think of at least six different sources off the top of my head that have all the sub archive. Well, why? Well, why? Sheesh, relax. It's not that bad. What do you mean it's not that bad? Don't you realize how embarrassing it all is? 
We've all been young, Jill. Relax. It's not, it's not like you're still like that nowadays. That would have been embarrassing. You're not still like that, right? Gods, no. I gave up on the whole cold self. It's just that remembering all this stuff is... I don't know. I like the way you look. All dressed in black with the rare accessory popping out thanks to the colors. I mean, at least you had the decency to use makeup and take care of yourself. So you have a pig. Oh god, you have a fucking pig. Why do you do this to me? Why do you dig out the sins of my past? I was bored. Last Friday, I had to take my mind out the whole day on a thing, so I ran a small background check on you. Simple stuff, just checking past internet activity. Please don't run background checks like that. I just used the search engine, you know? I didn't request documents or anything. What led you to the page? You do, you do realize your main mail account ever is still the one you used back then, right? Like I said, relax. You're a sister of occultism. I wanted to kiss all the boys. And I kind of almost accomplished that in middle school, which still sort of haunts me today. <sighs> Never underestimate the lengths old costumes will go to track it down. Especially if they think you're still a girl that kisses them for fun and they're lonely to boot. We all have things we're not too proud of as adults. <sighs> now I know how criminals feel when evidence is used against them. I have to ask though, why does 69? <laughs> It was supposed to be 69, not 69, like in reference to both the lovers and the hermit. Oh, it's convincing me. Wise choices. Jill, just nobody that will read that at 69. I I was 12 at the time. Even at 12, I fucking knew what the 69 was. Just how innocent were you back then? <laughs> you have no idea. Well, let's speed it up things a bit. I'll have a sugar rush. Sure. A sugar rush. Are they trendy now or something? Here. This thing. Say, Yama, speaking of the past, what was your last long-term relationship like? That's sudden. You dug through my past. I earned the right to dig through yours. Fine, fine. Long-lasting relationships, huh? Romantic ones, I'm guessing. Yep. Hmm. Well, I had about four boyfriends who I described as such that I have introduced my family and all. The first one was in high school. I broke up with him because he cheated on me. I remember the other girl trying to pick a fight and me just saying, keep the fucker. The second one was during my freshman year. I broke up with him after he thought it'd be funny to punch me in the arm. He starts with a friend to hit and before you know it. Anyways, the other guy I met shortly after I dropped out. He was interested in marriage, but he wanted to get married after only half a year or so knowing him. And then there's Richard. Who? I spent almost four years with him. We got along pretty well. We had awesome chemistry. I truly loved him. But as time went by, there was a rip that started separating us. He just didn't like my family. He did it. Moreover, he wasn't a family person. He distanced himself from his own and voiced that he didn't want kids. There was a part of me that wanted to believe, even if it was just for a little bit, that maybe he'd change his mind. But as much as I loved him, that one detail brought a growing gap between us. And at one point, I just had to break up with him. But I'm not here to depress you. Bring me a beer, will ya? Sure. Let's get her a beer. Thanks for telling me that, by the way. Don't mention it. Okay, one more question and we're even. Wow, you really are embarrassed with the fog, huh? Sure, that's the way. At what age did you get those implants in your boobs? Jill, I love you, and I know you're saying that I just, but I lived through so many rumors about me getting plastic surgery that I can't and won't take it as a joke. As such, and honoring our friendship, I'll just say this. They're real and they're spectacular. Now, ask the real question before I slap you. I'll grant you one. I have only one chance to call me by my full name as a compensation then. I'll gladly take your offer. It's funny that you mentioned slapping because the real question was, how, why did you get your hands chopped? Heh <laughs> chopped. Well, just a couple of reasons. The first is that I spent lots of time typing, and these repressions helped me avoid carpal tunnel syndrome. Oh. There's other utilities, like how I can interface with many devices. For example, just a tiny computer embedded in my glasses. 
If I move my index finger, it acts like the computer's cursor. There's lots more, but there's small things that don't sound that impressive when I say it out loud. How did your family take the operation? They took it well enough, except for mom. She freaked out for months. She even went to the hospital to ask for her hands. Don't you miss them? Sometimes we're just stirring emotional moments, but as luck would have it, someone else has them. Shortly before my operation, there was an accident on the highway. One of the victims was this young lady whose right hand got completely crushed. I told him to check if we were compatible and all that. I mean, implants are not everyone's first choice if they could get a natural replacement. A bit of cosmetic treatment, and it could pass off as the original hand with no problem. Last I heard we were compatible and the family agreed to the donation. I don't know what became of her, but I hope she's fine. And you didn't tell your mom about that? I didn't want her pestering the poor girl. So, are you cool now? Are you even now? Are we? You're pretty pissed about my comment regarding your booze. Again, I'm sorry, it sounded a lot less rude in my head. Yeah, don't worry about that. Besides, I got to call you Julia at once. No, you don't. Eh? Why? You just called me by my full name. Are you serious? One chance and only one chance and you just used it up. Damn it! Surprise! Hey Alma, this might be a weird tangent, but do you believe in ghosts? Hey! Not particularly, no. Although there was this paper I read once that was quite interesting. Hmm? I proposed a scenario where an auto machine clusters will lead the body up to death, and then acted as a collective high mind through residual brain waves. The result would basically be an image not unlike a hologram. Of course, the hypothesis fell through because such nanomachine density is impossible in a body. Even 5% of the amount needed is enough to make the blood too dense for the heart. Although it's not like brain waves are potent enough to create those reactions. Still an interesting read though. I see. Hmm. Don't give me that look. It's not my fault they convinced yourself that you're crazy. Well, I'll leave then. See ya tomorrow. See ya. All done? I am. What about you, girl? For some reason, the idle girl left him like that, it seems. You think? It might have been a while he was out. True. Hey boss, you're a fan of wrestling, aren't you? I mean, you were a wrestler, so... That I am. Yeah, why? I was wondering, isn't wrestling fake? Are Twin Tails for little girls and teens with ace grade syndrome? Ace grade what? When you get down to it, wrestling is as real as a soap opera. I mean, you don't really expect the legal loss to be fixed in a ring, right? Sure, in my ideal world, we would solve legal problems through good old wrestling, but... Ahem. No, seriously, 8th grade what? But you don't go around calling soap operas fake. It's a show, it just so happens to use fights as an expression. You might as well see it as an unique form of theater. Besides, considering the injuries many wrestlers suffer, it's not all fake. Huh, I didn't think about it that way. Sadly, I don't stand for anyone bad-mouthing wrestling. So now I have to go and break Gil's back to make it humble. Oh well, wait, what? Come here, fuckboy! Fuckboy! Ace grade what? Alright, and that was it for part 17 of Valhalla. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.